Hey guys, welcome to My Market Kitchen. I'm here today at the Big Four Caravan Park at Goldfields, and I've got a great guest with me here today as well, the man himself, David. Coming out, Dave. Oh. Sleep well? Oh, I'll tell you what, <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you as well. I have had my sleep. Do I look okay? You look fresh. Yeah. You look fresh, nice and dapper. I love the pink. Now, you know the bad news. What's that? I can't cook, so I'm here to learn. Oh, can you whisk at least? A, li yeah, a well, little bit. Whisk means that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just I, that. Yeah, I just can that. do that. I can okay. do that. That's, well, I've that's got okay. a treat for you today. Got a beautiful tomahawk steak. You ever had a tomahawk before? No. But I love steak. Well, this is the king of steaks, in my opinion, okay? It's a special, oh, wow. special cut. That is a decent one. Yeah, piece. this is, I mean, this is, it's a showstopper of a steak, guys. It's the sort of steak you have for a special occasion. You have this at home for your guests, and it's just, it's incredible. I mean, that's a way. That's probably about two kilos. How many people would that feed? Me. <laughs> One. <laughs> no, nah, you could. We'll share it. We'll share today. Okay, I'll right. share with you. Okay, so we're going to get this straight on the grill, and we're going to season it really generously. Because especially when you're cooking on an open grill, like the the pores naturally open up of the beef, and it will suck in all of the salt it needs. When you turn it over, the excess salt will drop off. So you won't feel like you're eating the salt. It's not at all gone into it. Part Absolutely. Of the flavor. So I'm going to keep the lid on that just to keep the heat in. Oh. And then what I've got here that is... is just some rendered beef fat. Okay. So we're going to keep that here. And as I'm cooking, I'm going to keep basting the beef to put that moisture back in what to was keep it, it nice again? and moist. Beef fat. Beef fat. Beef fat. So beef. all the, this bit of the boat here is covered in fat. Right. So we just trim it off. We render it down. We melt it, and then we use it to base the steak. And here we are on the road, and you can do it just as well here as you could in one of your restaurants. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Tomatoes. Some beautiful vine tomatoes. Some beautiful olive oil over there on that. A little bit more salt. On the tomatoes. On the tomatoes. We can forget about her for a little minute. For how long? Uh, until it's cooked. <laughs> it's a big piece of meat, guys, who knows? It'll probably take about 15 minutes or so, but okay. we'll keep turning it. This is where we put you to work a little bit. We get two egg yolks in there. We've got a reduction of a nice white wine tarragon vinegar. Can I tell you something, Mike? Yeah, of course you can. I had never, ever broken an egg, cracked an egg, until this wonderful My Market kitchen. And the first effort that I had went everywhere, the shell, and then it was all high fives, I did it. So I'm very glad the eggs were done. How did you go your whole life without cracking an egg? I have a very good wife who <laughs> loves cooking, <laughs> and we eat out a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I should say it to, to the viewers because I'm not afraid to tell the truth. Yeah. I learn, I love this show, and I love learning. I mean, Sometimes I'm not very good at what I do. I'm gonna just do a little bit further. So what you're doing is stirring. What you wanna do is oh. whisk. Okay, because then you see the air bubbles that I yeah. get straight away. So you basically do a figure of eight. I and then so what that wrong. will do is oh. emulsify the eggs and then it will start to thicken. And as it starts to thicken, we'll start pouring our butter. Wow, now that to me looks like custard now. Yeah, it's, it's basically a savoury custard. It's exactly what a hollandaise is. So this is just a clarified butter now, which is just what's turning it into a sauce. So rather than it tasting like egg, you'll taste all the beautiful butter. Look at that, oh. off the grill, rested it. It's really important, guys, if you cook a steak, it's so important to rest it. General rule of thumb, we cook this for what, about 15 minutes? Mm. Rest it for half the time, okay? And then all those juices will stay in. Now, Mike, I love my steaks 
well done. I know some of the family members are not so keen on it, but I have had one time a cook go, no, sorry, not doing it. So what's the policy there in the kitchen that you get somebody like me who says, I'd like it well done? Look, it's, it's down to personal preference. It's everyone's choice. I'm never going to say no, but I just won't like you. Oh, fine, OK, we're doing well so far. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a well-done steak. There's yeah. nothing wrong with a well-done steak. And the salt's gone into it. The salt's just... gone in. There's no salt You've on the You've got your beautiful there. hollandaise on sauce on the side. Give it a go. Mm. Mm. You're good. Thank you. We bought this from Gary's. Amazing. Amazing, amazing steak. We're blessed in Australia. Every state and territory, great markets. You get the fresh food, thank you. The produce, right prices. And we're in the actual local market. Don't ever fear that you're wasting time having a chat to these stall holders because they love their produce. I always say, make friends with your butchers, your fishmongers, your fruit and veg guys, because then they'll look after you. And what about Tomahawk? Where does the name come from? It's a good question. <laughs> oh, jackpot, I'm asking something he doesn't know the answer to. Thank you. Guys, it's a great recipe. Super easy, delicious, showstopper for you and your friends. Give it a try. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs>